Okay, good morning. Saturday, 7th of July. We're now leaving our hotel here. Excellent hotel, Peru's Hotel in Isofan. Prepared to start loading the minibus there, and then we'll be off to Yats. So, uh, leaving a modern, quite a nice temperature here in uh, Isofan to a hot desert city. A city of uh, where they still uh, practice uh, Zoroastrianism, it's a religion before that uh, Islam came to uh, Iran. So there's still places there, still people there that still practice the ancient religion. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. So uh, let's go to Yats. Yeah. It's strange, but that's the way it is here. <laughs> refueled the yeah. minibus here. Uh, last time we refueled I told you that one euro could buy you eight liters but that was eight liters of uh, petrol for a car. Now the guys just filled this minibus up which is diesel and uh, don't fall off the chair now but one euro can buy you 25 liters of diesel. <laughs> can you believe that? Yes that's true one euro 25 liters of diesel. We're stopping for a break on the way to Yats in a town called Naim. So it's a kind of a mosque here we're going to see, so that should be good. Let's go and have a look at that. Here we go now. This is the Naim Shemi Mosque. One of the oldest mosques in Iran dates back to the 8th century AD. Also it feels like we've come back into the time of the Bible. 2000 years ago it feels like we were going back now. You can see places like this. You can see it's an alabaster stone. It's uh, the stones that should have been on the uh, hammam that we saw a few days ago. We don't know. Can't look through them, but they allow light to penetrate. So let's have a look when we get down below. Okay, now we're coming down the floor below. And it's amazing how cold it is already. This is where they prayed in the summertime. See actually how much light these stones allow to It's just illuminated by the sun above. So now all the lamps have been turned off, so this is just the natural light we can see. Now we can see better the usage of the alabaster sun with natural sunlight. Oh. Okay, this is really amazing because you can see out there it's not glass, it's a stone that can make light. They don't need to make this light, it's, it's of self powder, natural. Mm -hmm. That's what the stones called alabasta. Alabasta is called the stone. This being one of the most, the oldest mosques in Iran, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a dome like we saw in Isfahan, which has a minaret there. And the uh, temperature downstairs, we said it was cold when we went down. It's actually between 10 and 15 degrees all year. Also felt extremely cool. It's the coolest place we've been here, and apart from sitting next to an air conditioner.
Okay, now we arrived to our hotel here in Yats. Um, looks like a nice place here, so that's good. Uh, Yats is a, mainly a desert city. A lot of the houses here you will see are made of uh, mud. So uh, it's a very old city as well, 5,000 year old. So um, we're not too big, I think 700,000 people live here. And at an altitude of 1,200 meters. So I already feel the difference in heat. It's like, uh, again, walking around in in an oven or standing next to a hot air dryer. But uh, let's see how it goes. Not doing any sightseeing today because there's an important football game with England versus Sweden. So that's good. All of the Danish people supporting Scandinavia and then there's me and Jamie <laughs> supporting England. So we'll do that today. We'll see if we can find a place to watch that in the restaurant. Football in the middle of the desert. England and Sweden. Who's on the England side? Who's on Sweden side? <laughs> and I think Jamie's made a bet with pair for an ice cream. Let's see who wins. <laughs> One nil to England. Here in the middle of the desert. Here in the middle of the desert, 2-0. <laughs> Nicest hotel so far. Even though the other hotels have been nice, but this one is really special. It's now nine o'clock in the evening, 36 degrees, no wind. Okay, so. Uh, now yeah, we've moved on to Yats, this really nice hotel here in the middle of the desert. Um, we haven't done much today apart from leave the one hotel in uh, Esafan and move on to, to this one. We stopped and saw an old mosque on the way, that's about it really, had lunch. Watched a football match, so nothing too exciting today, but tomorrow uh, should be a good day. Tomorrow we're out sightseeing here in Yats, so uh, it's uh, probably going to be a hot day, but uh, let's see if we can go and see the sightseer tomorrow. And, uh, have a nice day here in Yats. So we've got one day here and then we're moving on back to uh, Tehran. So uh, let's have a, a good day here tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.